I got your question and I think I can advise you. Ajim says he goes to school and he doesn't have any friends because no one is religious there. Well, uh, a Muslim is a leader by nature. We recite in the Quran, وَجْعَلْنَا لِلْمُتَّقِينَ imama. It only takes one person. I've been to schools where the person or the individual was so effective that he changed the environment around him. So choosing people whom you assume that they can benefit of your advice. They can either become Muslim or if their Muslims are not practicing, you think and you assume that you can give them some guidance and they start practicing the deen. So you look at it, you should look at it as an opportunity. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said in the sound hadith, لَأَنْ يَهْدِيَ اللَّهُ بِكَ رَجُلًا وَاحِدًا خَيْرٌ لَكَ مِنْ حُمْرٍ نَعَمٍ If Allah were to guide through you one person, it is better for you before Allah than possessing the red camels, some of the most valuable positions back then for the Arab, like my back, Mercedes, nowadays for innocence. So having too many people around you and knowing that you can have a positive effect on them by giving them da'wah, you should convert this dilemma into an opportunity. Sometimes the country is Muslim's country, is a Muslim country, but the people are not practicing. Sometimes you would find yourself the only one person praying at school. You should not feel disappointed. You should not feel lonely. Rather, you should feel, Alhamdulillah, Allah has entrusted me to look after all those guys and give guidance, transmit the guidance to as many people as possible. And it does work all the time, my respected brother. So I encourage you to focus on some of your colleagues. And there's a difference between a colleague and a friend, a classmate and a brother whom you choose to be your brother or a sister or a girl chooses to be her sister because they are on the same page. They love Allah. They're very keen in offering their acts of worship. So in your case, choose whom you assume that they can benefit out of your advice, start working on them. Make them love Allah the Almighty. Imagine if you just gained one person so that you can pray jama'ah, both of you, you would feel the happiest person on earth. Promise. May Allah bless you.